Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can create this motion design with text directly in PowerPoint. So let's jump into it. As usual, the first thing we'll do is go File, New, Blank Presentation. Then we'll right click on the background and go to Layout and choose Blank. Now we'll add the text and I want to write Design in my example and I'm going to use 15 characters for this animation. So I'll just put in 15 Ds really quickly. This is just so that we can animate them up and down and have enough. And we're going to use the font Poppins and the font size 210 point. And we'll make this bold and then we'll go to the line spacing options. Go to multiple and I'm going to choose 0.61. So they're nearly touching. I'm going to position this in the far left and then using shift and control I'm going to click and drag to make a duplicate. So this will be my E. S. I. G. And finally N. So there's all the letters I need for the animation. And I'm now going to make the text a tiny bit bigger. Just to fit most of the screen. So I'll go for 290. And I'm going to position the D to the left here. Then select the other characters. And move them over to the right for now. So we can get the kerning right, which is the space between the letters. We'll just drag these manually to what we think looks like the right amount of space between the letters. The text is looking good. Now let's make the background black and change it to outlines for some of the letters. So if we right click anywhere on the background, we can go to Format Background and then choose Black. Now Control A will select all of the characters. And for those, I'm going to go to Text Options, choose Text Outline, Solid Outline, then make sure White is selected. And I'm going to make this three with round caps. So that's looking good. I just want to fill in some of these as white for the design I've chosen. So I'm just going to select them one at a time and click to fill them in. Great, so we'll just go full screen and this will be the end of the animation. Now let's add the animation. So now if I press Ctrl A to select everything, go to animations, add animation and choose motion path lines. That will by default move everything down very slightly. And now if we click to reveal the animation pane, we can right click while these are all selected, go to effect options and choose auto reverse. So this will move them down and then back up again. Now if I zoom out a bit, I can hold control and use the mouse wheel to do this. We'll use this slider at the bottom here. But if we click on the D, I'm going to make this one go up instead. So I can go to effect options and choose it up. And I want it to move more. And to do that, I click on the red triangle and then I hold down shift and drag the red dot. And now that's going to go up quite a lot more. So I'll just test that. And as the E's coming down, I'm going to pick that up and move it up quite a lot.
just going to line this up here with the other text. And then make this E white because this will be the end point. So the way I've done the animation is wherever I move these two by holding on to them and holding shift is going to be the end position where they get to. And then wherever I click on the animation and drag this red point is how far away the animation moves before returning. So I can click on this red triangle, shift and drag the red dot down, and then it will just move further down in the animation. I'll just quickly apply the same effect to the S, I, G and N. So I'll make the S move down a bit further. Just check that. And I actually want the S to move up instead for variety. So I can go to effect options and choose up and that, that will move up. But it will return because we've got auto reverse as a preference. So I'm going to click on the red arrow here and drag it up for the amount it goes up. Just quickly play that to see it's working. Everything looking good so far. The eye can move down. So I'm going to drag the red dot. And then move the eye up. So this will be its finishing position. So I'm just going to make this one white. Great. Just quickly apply the same sort of effects to the G and N. The G I'm going to make go up just by a little bit. And the N is set to down, which is correct. I can adjust the amount it moves from the red dot. And then drag the letters up on the page. Select the N and make that white. So that should be pretty much it. With a couple of modifications to make it look more interesting. Because at the moment, most of the animation happens at the same time. If I select the second box down and put a quarter of a second delay, then half a second delay, and on the bottom one, three quarters of a second delay, you'll see it has more variety when it starts. And on the G, I think we can do half a second. And on the S, I think we can do quarter of a second. So this will stagger it all. So the speed of the animation is slightly different to give it some interest. And I'm just going to do Control A and use the up cursor just for some fine adjustment to make sure that when I play it and when it finishes, the characters are in exactly the right place at the top. Excellent. So there's some motion design with text that you can easily apply in PowerPoint. And just for a bit of variety, I'll show you how you can add something such as a bounce end. So with all of these selected, which you can do by holding down shift and clicking the bottom and the top, we can go to effect options by right clicking. And then you can type in something similar to 0.5 for bounce end. Then we'll play that. You can see but it now adds a little bounce at the beginning and the end, just for variety. So there you go. Either with or without the bounce end, it's just a really interesting way of applying motion effects with typography to bring your PowerPoint to life. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.